Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial for the SIT guide. For this video, I'm going to explain how you're going to use the SIT guide playlist to complete all of the challenges in the SIT guide. I'll also be going over some of the software that you'll be using to actually start coding. So if you notice here, these are all of the components that will be in your SIT kit. I will not be going over any of these components in these videos, in this video specifically, and I'll be going into them in the other videos. So first thing you want to do, you should click on this link right here, Online Experiment Guide. You'll immediately get linked to all of the information that is in your little handbook that is inside your kit. However, I do prefer that you use this Online Experiment Guide. So you should be reading through every single tab that is listed here. The only one you should avoid is this one, Install the CH340 Drivers. So your main goal is to complete all of the challenges in every single circuit. So notice for circuit 1A, you should be reading through all of this information. You'll need to set up the circuit here. Then you'll scroll down, copy this code, hold on to it, and you'll be uploading it into some software later. After you upload the code, you will need to complete some of the challenges. And the challenges are listed here. So you can also use Control F. So hold control, click F, type in challenge, and you'll be able to find the challenges that you need to complete. For my students, you will need to complete every single challenge in this guide. Fortunately, if you need help, you can reference these videos here. So this playlist is already set up for you to use. So if you notice, there are several videos here. So only watch the videos you need. You don't have to watch all of them. But if you do need a video, for instance, in circuit 1B, you can scroll down and actually click to whatever time you want to forward to so that you don't watch the entire video. You only watch whatever you need. Keep in mind, I do recommend that you complete all of the challenges in this guide because every challenge will build off of the previous challenge. So the challenges will be more complex towards the end of this series. However, you'll find it more difficult to code in the very beginning because you'll be learning. So just stick with it and reference the videos if you need help. As far as the software goes, you do have two options. You should either go to the Arduino.cc website, click on software. And then depending on whatever computer you have, whether it's a Mac or a Windows, you're going to download the Arduino software. So just go ahead and click on either one of these. You'll be asked to donate. Just click download or donate if you want to. And this is what the software will look like. So my board is already connected. And what you'll need to do is click on tools. Make sure your board is Arduino Uno. And if you're using a SparkFun Red board, make sure you click on Arduino Uno as well. Make sure your port is selected. Your programmer is listed as such. And that's pretty much it. In the next video, we'll be going over how to upload your code and how to change the code itself. The other option, if you're on a Chromebook, you're going to want to make an account on CodeVendor. Make sure you click on Sign In. Sign in with Google. Use your email, whichever one you want to use. And keep in mind, if you're not a student here at our district, you do need to get permission from your school district to use this um, website. But keep in mind, you do need to download a plugin. So what you're going to want to do is type in code vendor plugin. Click on the first link that appears as such. And then you should go ahead and add the code vendor app. Once again, you do need your district's permission to do this. So talk to your teacher to get that permission. So once you're logged in, what you're going to want to do is create sketch. Click create. And in this section here, I don't have code vendor authorized on my computer. It's a little finicky at the moment, but it works the same way as the Arduino IDE, which is here. So I do recommend you use Arduino IDE, but if you have a Chromebook, you should be using this. And with, you select your board. If you're using a red board, make sure you go down to SparkFun and select red board. If you're using an Arduino board, make sure you click on the Arduino Uno. And aside from that, your port will be selected here once you've downloaded the plugin. And that's pretty much it for this video. Good luck and check out the other videos if you need help.